Another day, another crypto game goes down in flames, this time in the form of Untamed Isles, which is this monster-taming MMORPG, a Pokemon-like, if you will, but in a massively multiplayer online environment. This is a trailer from July 2022, and when it comes to core gameplay concepts, it's got some interesting things going for it. There are some aspects to it that look appealing, which is why the initial reception was positive, until people learned that this game became too reliant on cryptocurrency, on NFTs. They learned that investors who this game was relying on when it comes to the money that it needed for development, a lot of their stuff was crypto-based. So when the crypto crash happened, that essentially forced these investors to pull out. And then when it comes to how this game was intended to be monetized, it was also going to rely heavily on cryptocurrency, on NFTs, essentially which is why you'll find that if you look at the likes to dislikes ratio, it's looking pretty low when it comes to community reception. Now, this was a game that first cropped up on Kickstarter. It was initially crowdfunded and it was done so successfully, garnering over 840,000 New Zealand dollars from 3,052 backers. And the description here reads, Untamed Isles is a monster hunting and taming turn-based MMORPG being developed in New Zealand by a local studio. Untamed Isles provides a living, breathing world where you can witness friends and other players' activities in real time, such as fighting, training, breeding, etc. Untamed Isles is a game that rewards players for their achievements and to show them off publicly, whether it be rare monsters, items, competitive rating, ranking, achievements, player housing, and much more. The entire open world is for you to explore, focusing on social engagement. The level design will create unique areas for friends to gather, practice PvP, trade, breed monsters, clear dungeons, and play through the story of Untamed Isles socially with open voice proximity communications. Untamed Isles will be launching on PC and Mac with open early access targeted for December of 2021 and will be purchasable through Steam. Just looking at this description, it sounds like a really neat idea to take the Pokemon concept and turn it into an MMORPG that feels more modern with a lot of cool sort of communal features. But you can see right here that they completely fail to disclose the cryptocurrency aspects that will be seeped into the game. And while that information is in this Kickstarter campaign, you really have to scroll down to find it. It basically feels like looking for a fine print. You can see how much I'm scrolling before we get to the point where there's any mention of cryptocurrency right here. We're really excited to be driving our new play to earn model. The Untamed Dials has partnered with Direwolf to allow the use of the website Blockchain Marketplace. The Untamed Dials focuses on the policy game first, crypto second. Yeah, sure, just like how publishers like to insist that their microtransactions, be it valuable cosmetics or pay to win, are completely optional except that the alternative is insufferable grind that essentially makes paying for rewards or for pay to win elements mandatory if you want to experience the game in a reasonable way and does not require blockchain integration to be played by a user. However, most of the items and all of the monsters within the Untamed Isles can be tokenized and can be sold, bought, and traded on the website marketplace in addition to our in-game auction house, allowing players to earn while they play. I mean, given that the game seemingly centers around collecting monsters and items, being able to tokenize these and create this economy where all that stuff can be bought and sold clearly creates the incentive for players to spend money on these things rather than grind through the game. And given that this crypto NFT based marketplace monetization system is the main way that this game was intending to monetize players engagement, I would not have been surprised if the grind for players who don't pay or don't engage in this micro economy would have been insufferable and tedious. Scrolling further down, you'll find that in the features section, one of the bullet points reads cryptocurrency integration, which is a major turnoff for so many people because cryptocurrencies are rife with speculative gambling, with crimes, theft, scams, cons, schemes, you name it. I mean, the number of crypto and NFT heists and scams that have occurred in the last few years and the millions, if not billions, that have moved around in an illicit manner as a result of this landscape I cannot count. On top of crypto games essentially enabling and promoting these shady landscapes, there is the negative environmental impact that cryptocurrencies and NFTs have. But you know what doesn't harm the environment and in fact does the complete opposite through environmental restoration? The sponsor of today's video, before I do this actually, I need to put on something more, uh, more regal. Uh... Ooh yeah, that'll do.
I am Lord Yong, Blade of Yeah. Okay, so this is no joke. Because of the sponsor of today's video, Established Titles, I am allowed to add the title Lord to my name. Now, what really drew me to the sponsor is their environmental protection efforts. This is an organization that focuses on offering a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland and help with global reforestation efforts in collaboration with global charity partners, One Tree Planted, and Trees for the Future. They do so by allowing you to buy plots of land in Scotland that are at least one square foot, and in your purchase plot, they'll plant trees I'll be permanently preserved alongside the plot itself, whose location you'll get exact coordinates to. And the fun part is that you get to benefit from a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English, granting you the added satisfaction of being able to grant the title of lord or lady to yourself or whoever you gift an established title to. With it, you'll be able to... Alright, oh, you know what? I actually can't see a thing in this thing. With it, you're allowed to add the title of lord or lady to your credit card, to your plane tickets, you can put it on your dating profile. That'll make for a nice start of conversation. Am I right, folks? And if you use my link, establishedtitles.com slash Lord Young to purchase one of these, the first 200 to buy a title will have plots right next to me within a few minutes walking distance so we can be lords and ladies of our own little Yong Yeah kingdom in the name of nature's preservation. On top of that, if you use the code Lord Yong upon purchase, you'll get an additional 10% off on top of the massive early Black Friday sale going on right now. So yeah, it's a, it's a good time to become a lord or lady. It's money better spent than any crypto or NFT bullshit. Especially when it comes to Untamed Dials, a crypto game that crashed and burned so hard that it had to seize development and is unable to issue refunds to backers who want their money back because, well, they're out of money. As PC Gamer aptly points out, the commitment to crypto is where it all went wrong. Not only did the game's involvement with crypto and NFTs get negative feedback, but the way they essentially tried to hide that information or bury it by disclosing this information in a shady and sneaky way that makes it very difficult to find, that made plenty of people feel like they were deceived. It hyped them up thinking, oh crap, there's something here before they learned after they read through the entire post that it's in fact a crypto game rather than a pure video game. And there's some content creators who felt slighted, like MMO Byte, who posted a video in July apologizing for supporting Untamed Dials and disavowing crypto games in general. Basically, in an initial video he made about Untamed Dials, having no clue that this game was going to implement cryptocurrency and NFTs, he kind of decided to highlight this game and talk about his excitement for it. And then when people pointed out, hey, actually, this is a crypto game, Hostix said in a follow-up video that he apologizes for supporting this game. He said that he did not realize this was a crypto game because that information is so buried. And he insisted that he's very strongly against those specific types of games. So that brought a lot of negative attention to Untamed Dials. And beyond that, another blow was suffered when... 2016 Pokemon World Champion Wolf Glick, who had been hired to help design the Untamed Dials combat system, appeared to speak out against the NFT aspect on Twitter. And once word began to spread that this is a crypto game, those events triggered a cascade effect that caused other mainstream media companies who want to stay as far away from NFT and crypto games, given the negative reception surrounding them, and given that a lot of you know gaming enthusiasts just don't believe that NFTs and cryptocurrency have anything positive to contribute to gaming, to cancel playing coverage. Influencers who had been lined up to push the game also started to pull out. Pre-sales fell well short of anticipated levels. Just 50 pre-sales were made rather than the hoped for two to three thousand. All this could have gone much better if they had just decided to forego any sort of crypto or NFT implementation from the outset. Now what especially didn't help matters was the crypto crash because so many of the Untamed Dials investors were heavily investing in crypto as well. So once the crypto crash happened, all these investors were like, whoa, 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 all right, the market crashed and our portfolio is kind of at an all-time low. We don't have the money right now to invest in this project. The investors pulled out as they watched the market crashing. Now, the developer, Fat Loot, did decide to launch Untamed Dials in a more bare-bones state in October, ahead of its original schedule, in order to start generating some kind of revenue. But the studio was burning through close to 100,000 New Zealand dollars, or 62,700 US dollars per week in wages and cost. And developers realized that they were likely not going to be able to make the revenue from their launch to keep the lights on. All of that is relayed on Untamed Dial's official press release surrounding this whole issue. Now, you can see right here that the game is on Steam. And one of the reasons people believe that Untamed Dial's didn't have crypto is because Steam did ban crypto and NFT-based games, and yet Untamed Dial somehow managed to make it to Steam. Perhaps it's another case of them not being very transparent about the nature of this game, much like their Kickstarter campaign. But yeah, right here you can see what they said. We have to pause the development.
development of untamed dials and put the project on hold. With a heavy heart, we made this decision and we understand our amazing community will be shocked reading this. More than shocked, people are pissed and frustrated, especially backers who are not getting refunds. We are unable to financially keep up with the demands of what we set out to do. This is a very ambitious title being an open world monster catching MMORPG. The truth is that the cost of development is high and there were lots of bumps on our way to this moment. Economic landscape has changed dramatically, both generally and specifically for cryptocurrency, and we're not confident in the current market. We ran out of financial resources and we can't carry on the development at this moment. We leaned into the crypto market and expanded rapidly off the back of the positive interest. So right here, they admit that they leaned heavily into cryptocurrency, into this heavily speculative and unstable financial landscape that completely ended up screwing them over with the crypto crash. Now, instead of quitting crypto while they're ahead, they insist that the crypto landscape will improve and that's when they can make a comeback. Crypto funds have become and remain essential in getting us to the release. You've got to be kidding me. Until the crypto situation is resolved and we're confident it will be at some stage, then we have to hibernate development on this project. We have to pause and rethink our approach. Now, this post led many people to believe that essentially the funds that they raised through Kickstarter were spent on cryptocurrency. Here are some comments responding to this Steam post with people saying things like, the game is based on cryptocurrency? Really? Seriously? Wow, thanks for spending my Kickstarter money I gave you on cryptocurrency. Wait, you idiots used our Kickstarter funds to buy crypto? So on and so forth. And the fact that the very first commenter here didn't even know that this was a cryptocurrency based game goes to highlight what a poor job they did at being transparent. PC Gamer makes it a point to highlight that no mention is made of the game's reliance on cryptocurrency until more than halfway through the Kickstarter campaign description. PC Gamer also raised suspicions about the timing of Fat Loot launching the pre-order campaign on August 1st when the crypto crash happened back in May. And August 1st is also just 10 days before they put the game on hold, the development of Untamed Dials on hold after this whole house of cards came crashing down and they provided no indication that the game was in trouble. So once again, these developers have proven to be completely untrustworthy when it comes to transparency, communication, and disclosure. And the end result to all of this is that while investors were able to dodge the bullet and people who pre-purchased the game and fat loot tokens will be given refunds, individual backers on Kickstarter and backer kit are out of luck. This is in stark contrast to what the Kickstarter campaign promised. The campaign promised that full refunds would be issued to all backers if Untamed Dials failed to launch, and numerous backers have asked for one, but an FAQ at UntamedDials.com says that refunds will not be available because, well, there's no money. You can see right here on their official website in this FAQ section, if you scroll down, you'll find a bit of text that reads, what if I backed on Kickstarter slash backer kit? Due to our cash reserves being empty, we are not in a position to refund our initial backers. We're truly sorry about this and wish this scenario was different. If this is an emblematic of how volatile, scam infested, and shady the crypto landscape is, I don't know what is. Now, Fatlu did publish the following response on August 17th, 2022. They wanted to clarify and address some of the misinformation and misunderstandings, according to them. In light of some recent media attention, we would like to address some misinformation and misunderstandings. Fatlu Studios and Untamed Dials did not invest any funds into crypto. All funds raised through crowdfunding and through traditional investment were spent by the studio developing the game. The reason for the pausing of game development is due to the company exhausting its available funds. We have around 70 full-time staff and have had so for over a year and ran a smaller team for over two years. We had several investors pull out recently due to concerns about both the economic market along with the crypto market at the moment, which made it very clear we would not reach early access. It doesn't change the fact that you relied on investors who are knee deep into this volatile cryptocurrency landscape. That's on you. If they had not pulled out, we were pushing to make the early access date we announced. This all happened after announcing our early access release date. The game was progressing well and beta testing feedback was very positive. Unfortunately, the crypto market crash meant that investors that were lined up earlier this year pulled out, i.e. the token raise investors. This investment was necessary to make it through our runway to launch. So let me get this straight. This investment served as the bedrock to support the development of your game and you decided to go with investors who are essentially gambling on crypto, a landscape that swung up and down on a whim. When you rely on investors who are gambling on crypto, you yourself are gambling on the fate of your project. So, you know, that's 
on you. In addition, it was proving hard to get pre-order traction given the negative sentiment associated with Web3 integrated games. That's also something you should have foreseen. The gaming landscape has been abundantly clear about its sentiments surrounding cryptocurrency and NFTs. The pushback and the backlash has been very publicly recorded and yet you decided to gamble on Web3 anyway. And Fat Loot low key is expressing here that they didn't deserve that kind of backlash because Untamed Dials was being primarily a full MMORPG game with Web3 Marketplace, only an ancillary future integration in the background for those players that wanted to trade their in-game items outside of the game. This caused us to take a critical look at launching the game in this current market. Now, Wolfie, the 2016 Pokemon World Champion who was helping work on the game, did tweet something similar where he said that initially they did plan to implement NFTs and crypto and all these things. But after I spoke with the team and some external factors, they decided to move away from it. There are no crypto or NFT features implemented into the game itself. The only remnant is an optional external marketplace. It's a much more backpedaled version of their initial cryptocurrency and NFT plans but it doesn't change the fact that this game does ultimately still have association with that whole shady landscape that is, again, also environmentally harmful. So yeah, the backlash surrounding this game, especially with the way they, from what I can tell, deliberately decided to bury important information about crypto and NFT integration surrounding this game is well deserved, if you ask me, or at least they asked for it. The post concludes by saying that as a consequence, it wasn't possible to continue funding the development to hit the target release in October of 2022. Studio founders are looking at ways to salvage both the core studio and the game so that it can be completed and released down the track along with other possible titles. I mean, it looks to me as if you've burned all of your goodwill and all of your bridges with the community that backed the game, that supported this game, a community that feels taken advantage of, a community that feels misled by how cryptocurrency play to earn NFT bullshit was disclosed 60% down the Kickstarter campaign's long page and long campaign description. And given that you essentially scammed your backers, your first and most ardent supporters, who were promised refunds should this game fail. Yeah, I don't foresee this game making any kind of comeback, especially if it intends to continue to rely on the crypto market to fund this game or to draw in investors or whatever it is. Disassociate yourself completely from crypto and NFTs and then maybe people will start looking at this game in a different light. But even then, it'll be an uphill battle because the developers have proven to be untrustworthy when it comes to how they disclose information and when it comes to keeping promises like we'll issue refunds. So yeah, another crypto game that crashed and burned in not because of merits, but because of an over-reliance on a volatile, shady financial market landscape that you know, very few ultimately benefit from, very few get lucky enough. An over-reliance on cryptocurrency to fund your game is very much gambling on the fate of your game, a gamble that more likely than not will not go in your favor. Or at least that's one man's take on the unceremonious downfall on crypto game Untamed Dials. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this whole situation. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, Stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.